Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. This is the 2000 Nissan Frontier 3.3 liter. This is video number three on this particular truck. Uh, first video was some inspection and diag. Second video was teardown. Uh, we are pulling the transmission out of this. I've got the front of the engine disassembled, water pump, timing belt is removed. The engine oil pan is also removed. See that right there? Oil pans out of her. So it's, uh, it's coming down pretty far. I've got a couple other things that I wanna go ahead and pull out of this. Uh, one of which is gonna be this power steering line because it has some leaks and the steering gear also has some leaks. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those items out in this video and get that stuff replaced. We can see down here at this lower line, see the butt, there's the shiny one on the top and the one down below. That thing's got a lot of rust on it and somewhere there's a pinhole. Uh, it may be leaking behind this little rubber shroud thing where the, uh, the line goes from the hard line to a rubber flexible line. And I'm pretty sure it's leaking uh, right over here at a, uh, at a rubber junction. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, it's leaking around there somewhere. And there's also, there might be a leak right here at the, at the banjo bolt. Uh, either way, I'm gonna end up replacing that line. And uh, like I said, the steering gear is coming out. So what we're gonna do is uh, get this thing up in the air some. Let's go down below and uh, try to remove that steering gear. I've got a new one on the shelf somewhere around here. Moving on up. Green subscribe button. All right, that's probably good for right about now. I can get to everything uh, right here through the wheel well, it looks like. We've got four bolts that hold this on and ooh, a really crusty, rusty looking uh, U-joint assembly right there. Um, I've already got the uh, pitman arm removed. I had to do that in order to get the oil pan out. So all we really need to do is uh, get this joint disconnected those two lines disconnected and then we can get this uh this unit to come free i suppose we should uh lubricate that shaft before uh proceeding okay so what i'll do we'll give this a turn and i'll try to get a a gun on that little that nut right there and once i get this nut out with a bolt rather can't get him right once I get this guy out, this thing should come off with uh, no problem. Yeah, it's slipping. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that at all. I know. We'll hammer it on some. Okay. Attempt number two. I don't want to round that thing off and ruin it. It's not turning. Is it? Maybe it is. Hang on. Yeah, we're good. Nasty. Okay, let's get in here with some pry bar action. Let's see if we can't uh, get this thing to separate. Yeah, no, easier said than done, I guess. Let's try something else. Hammer. We need to open up that sleeve. So I'm gonna drive this pry bar into it. Okay, now. We pry bar? Hmm. Here it comes. It moved. That's all that matters is did it move? If it moved, it's gonna keep on moving. Keeping on, keeping on. And you gotta keep on keeping on. Come on, come off of there. Yeah. All right, it's off of there enough. Give up. Let's go ahead and uh, let's unbolt the, uh, the steering gear from the frame and uh, unbolt the lines from the gear and we'll get this thing pulled out of here. Okay, it looks like we're gonna need, uh, what is that, a 14? That's what I grabbed. It's a 14 and maybe a 16 over here. Get back on there. 
Come on. We're not doing this, rusty truck. There we go. Uh-huh. Need more lubricant. It was starting to twist the line right here. Because the nut wasn't sliding over the over the line. Very awkward. Oh well, whatever. We'll get this thing out. We'll bust out that next one. And then we've got four bolts. I, uh, I don't have to disconnect the steering gear from the steering linkage because I already did that, as I mentioned earlier in the last video. tearing down the uh, the oil pan and the front cover. Come on, it's taking forever. More? More threads you say? You cannot have any more. Oh, there's one. There's some fluid spillage. Let's stick that thing over there. We're, I think we're getting rid of this line too. This may be the one that leaks. And what do we got there, a 16? Let's find out. Oh no. I was wrong, it was a 17. And that's what I grabbed. Okay, let's break this one loose. Get a good bite on it somehow, some way. Hmm, I guess that works. Awkward. I need to switch sides. Let's go over here, give a good pull on this thing. Let's see what it's going to do here. Oh, unclick these. Got it. Cool. It came loose. Is that thing twisting or what are we doing? Need to make sure I don't ruin the lines. The other line was fine to ruin, but not this one because I was not. Uh, Planning on replacing this one. Maybe I should. Got it. Okay, two lines, both disconnected. Now we just need to uh, get the big bolts out that uh, bolt this thing to the frame, and uh, then we can maneuver this guy out. What we'll do is I'll push it forward some, get this uh, steering shaft off of that that shaft all the way, and then we can sneak the guy out. That's the plan. All right, let's see about these bolts next. They've been lubricated. Let's see if they come out. Oh, there's a nut on the other side. Hang on, let me, let me check that nut. Yeah, I, I thought those uh, that was part of the frame, but looks like there's a nut back there. Hang on, let me get a wrench in it. And resume the unclicks. If I can reach the thing, hang on, this is hard to do. Ow! Stop poke me. That hurt. Rust pokages. Hang on, guys, bear with me. I've worked on a Nissan before. Okay, I got a wrench on the nut. All right, there's our, there's our first bolt. And the nut that goes with it, right there. Put that in the bucket. We'll get number two. See, the challenge here is getting in and out of this uh, without uh, letting power steering fluid dump all over me. I don't want to be lubricated. Two. I'm getting the hardest one first, just for my own, uh, just so, I don't know, it gets easier as you go along, I guess. Okay, that's three, into the bucket, and 
Let me get a hold of fourth nut here. There we go. mostly free we need to get the steering shaft off and uh this thing should come right out no problem more pry bar coming in come off please come off come off now magic word. Abracadabra, come off. Right. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. Everything's fine. You will come off. There. It's off. Okay. Now. Just sneak this guy get this little hole right here, and we're good. Come on, steering gear, got her. Heavy. Ooh. There we go. Okay, new unit coming in. It's in the box. We're gonna get it out of the box. We're gonna make sure it's the right one. Hope so. And then uh, we'll get this new one reinstalled. Dirty. Dusty and dirty. But so far, it looks like it's the right unit. Okay, here's what we have. There's our new unit. That's the area for our uh, our lines to screw into. There's the shaft. Looks like it has a master spline. That's good. You see it right there, there's our master spline. Mounting looks the same. Got one master spline, two, three, and four on the shaft. One master spline, two, three, and four on the shaft, good. All right, back up into our wheel well here. You guys hang out over here on the tie rod and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing back into position here. Oh, coming in, super heavy steering gear. Let's just sneak this thing past this little bracket. Yeah, just like that. Now, the master spline is on the opposite side of this shaft right here. So, what I'm thinking is, I see it right there. I think it's pointed right at me. Yeah, I think it goes on just, uh, just exactly how we're looking at it. So let's try that. Let's slide this over. Try to get these things lined up here. Bear with me, I'm shoving my head into a wheel well. You guys are in here too. We're all hanging out together. Please slide on. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, since we had to hammer that off, I'm probably just gonna hammer it on, so. Let's put a couple of these uh, bolts through this to hang on to this unit. Get in there. And then when it's stable, I can get it lined up and then we'll tap it on with a little mallet or something like that. That, uh, that may be the best course of action if I can swing this properly here. Let's see. Collapsed some. I'm tripping over like a pile of parts here. Oh, it's not going to collapse any farther than it already has. Okay. So, let's take one bolt out. Give it the lean back. Get our splines lined up again. Nice. 
now we're getting somewhere. Almost. We're off a of spline, hang on. Let's try again. Ooh, we're lining up, there we go. Good. Okay, let's apply some leverage. See if it's gonna work. Uh, not yet. Perhaps with some uh, mallet encouragement. Just tap it on there. Continue sliding. Let's turn it some and we'll try to hammer it from the other side next. Kind of just walk the thing on. Okay, yeah, we're getting somewhere. It's moving. So, let's, uh, let's get this other bolt in, if we have enough here. Let's see. No, nah, not yet. A little bit more. Much more better, all right. So now, this thing moves around enough where I can get another bolt in it. That's two. Bolt three coming in. Bolt four going in. Did you hear me? There. And of course, four nuts. We'll tighten this thing down. All right. I'm going after this one first because that's the hardest one to uh, reach with the uh, with my wrench. I've given up on not letting uh, power steering fluid drip on me. It's just, that's how it is. Hang on. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably, yeah. Hang <laughs> on. Pardon my noggin. Coming in. Sounds like a fire emergency. Nick. All right, there's one. Put those other three on. And then we'll move on to that line replacement. Raining transmission fluid. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is undercoat this. That way the rust stops. Just soak it all. Okay, loud noises. Impact's coming in. Three of those are tight. Ah, it's dripping down my arm. Okay, four are tight. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not going anywhere. We have to get uh, that bolt in. That's the uh, infamous kill people bolt, as I call it. And we can see it's, a, it's set down far enough because the notch that was in that shaft is visible right here through the bolt hole. I don't even know if you guys can see, but it's in the right location. So let's go ahead and run that bolt down. I wiped off all the crusty rusties on it. Let's get that guy right back in his home here. Give it some clicks. There 
go. Okay, now we can get out of here. Let's raise her back up a little bit and uh, get that power steering line disconnected. Moving back up. All right, going back uh, down below. Again, we're down under our engine. We've got, there's one bracket right there, one more right there. Those guys are holding the line to the frame. So we need to get those things disconnected. Surprise, surprise, wrong socket. Try again. Oh, that's because I grabbed a nine and not a 10. Wrong spot. Round two, fight. Actually, don't fight, just come out of there. It's fighting. Mm, yeah, okay. I'll hammer you on too. Ooh, text message, I wonder who it is. Let's try this one. Yeah, that one came out, no problem. Maybe if I just wiggle it a bunch, it'll strip even more. Yeah, all right, Fastener, you have uh, forced my hand. Is that gonna work? No. I'm gonna have to upgrade to a higher caliber of socket. That's a flank drive snap-on. That one's slipping too. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay, getting annoyed, I now choose violence. We're gonna run some, some turbo sharp remover sockets on this thing. It's going to come out. Hmm. Or not. None of my violent sockets seem to fit. What about this one? Yeah, we got a winner. See, the key to doing this is not thinking about hitting your finger. Yeah, that's uh, it's just like a uh, wheel weights. If you think about hitting yourself, you will hit yourself. It's called target fixation. Motorcyclists experience target fixation uh, in the event of collisions. Like what happens is you see like the hazard, and then instead of uh, driving past the hazard, you you're looking at it, you're fixated on your target, and you'll drive right to it. I mean, cars suffer from the same uh, same thing, but it's a it's a major issue with uh, motorcycles. Mm, come on, this thing's slipping right off of here. Not working. It's totally not working. Or is it? Are you turning? No, it's just tearing metal off. Well, that's silly. I'm gonna have to chop that off. One more try. Uno mas. Come on. Come loose. I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, buddy. Cool, I got it. It's working. Cool, that's better than it not working. Voila. Good thing I have all those spare bolts from the Miata. Hey. Okay, now that the bracket bolts are unbracketed, let's separate these mounts and, uh, and peel this line out of here. If I can get into it, I might need a screwdriver. Yeah, screwdriver. More pry driver. So this is just like a metal strap that wraps around these lines. And there's a, like a rubber bushing inside, which is turning into dust as we speak. That's fun. Yeah, look at that. Goodbye, rubber. Okay, there's one. The other one, that's right over here to the right. Let's pop this guy out. Yeah, again, those little rubber bushing things are turning into dust. I'll have to stick some uh, like rubber hose over the lines to uh, create a bushing. Yeah. Okay, looking left again. Let's go ahead and fish this line down and out. And then we can uh, closer 
give it a closer examination when we get it into the light. Okay, we're gonna let this thing drain since it's kind of hanging down a little bit and, and dangling. We'll let it drain into the bucket. We're gonna let this car down. We need to go back up top and unbolt the other side of this line from the power steering pump up on the engine. So let's get out of here and back up here. Nissan coming down. Okay, so back up top. We see our line dangling down, still draining into the bucket. We follow it up and it comes up behind the power steering pump and is right here flipping around doing a u-turn you couldn't see flipping around doing a u-turn and it bolts on with a banjo bolt right here at the top of the pump so we just need to get that bolt out and then that line will be free so i believe that's a 24 millimeter unclick and it is loose oh bolt gravity i need that back hang on that's a specialized bolt, you cannot lose it. See how it's hollow in the middle, middle words, with the, uh, the hole in the side, that allows fluid to pass through the center of the bolt and then through that hole, thus going from the hole in the pump into the line. Fancy and clever. So now, I just need to sneak this guy out, probably up, I think it comes up through the top. I don't think it's gonna go to the bottom very well. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know, we'll try, we'll try the top first. And uh, that's not working at all. Okay, yeah, we're going down to the bottom. Hang on. Yeah, we'll just send this flexible portion down. There's a lot of stuff in the way and everything's covered in oil. I'm, it feels gross to touch things on this car. Not because the car is gross, it's just the leaks with the rust. You know, leaks are one thing and rust is one thing, but when you get leaks and rust, they, they kind of work together to just feel gross because you have like crusty oil. That's what it's like. Yeah, out. All right, got it. Okay, got the line out. Again, we can see it just loops around, runs behind the pump, turns into a metal line, runs along, turns back into a, a rubber line. And if I'm not mistaken, our leak is right around here somewhere. See all that rust? Oop, we're leaking again. Get back in there. Get in there. There. And I've got a new one right there in the bag. So I've got the new unit unboxed. And from what I'm looking at right here, all the bends are the same, the measurements are the same. So uh, this is a, a suitable replacement. Let's go ahead and feed this thing through and uh, get it up behind the pump and bolt it in. And then we'll run it across and then get it all connected to the steering gear. We'll put that up there for now. Huh. Moving up. And I believe it went under here. And then it sneaks back behind here. Come on up. All the way up, please. There we go. Then we've got to do the loopy, bendy around thing. Oh, come here, towel. Okay. Pull this thing up, loop it around, and we'll kind of set it up over here on the pump how it's supposed to go. It's got a little notch in it that aligns it, or a little, uh, I don't know what you call that thing. This thing sticking out aligns with a notch on the pump. That way it's uh, oriented properly. So we just need to get that lined up and then uh, run the bolt into it. So we've got a pair of copper crush washers. We do need to use the new ones. That one's not even flat, that's cool. No worries. It will become flat when we tighten it. So, one washer on the top, one washer on the bottom. See that? Then we line up the little notch, thread it down, 
and then uh, tighten it. Don't fall. My hose is stiff, it doesn't want to bend. Go in your hole, hose. Please. Now there is a sensor that screws in right here. I've got to remove that from uh, the old line and then screw it on. We'll do that later. A couple forward clicks. Good to go. Guys, 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 potential spammer. Hang on. Hello? Hi, this is Maddie on a recorded line and I'm a Medicare help representative with LDM Medicare. You may qualify for additional Medicare benefits at no cost to you. Do you have Medicare Part A and Part B? Are you a computer? Hello? Yeah, they hung up on me. Foolishness. I don't think that was actually a computer. I think that was really a person. You know the audacity of some people to call you and then tell you that they're recording you. Like, can you believe that? That's, that's not even right. Like, you don't get to call and be like, hey, uh, by the way, I'm recording you. No, 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 no. That's, uh, that's not okay. And then to attempt to violate HIPAA by asking me to disclose personal medical information. I just, I don't know if I can abide by that. I'm just, uh, I don't think I'm, I'm in that camp. Nope, nope, nope. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, and get these lines connected to the steering gear and then I'll fashion some kind of bracket for, uh, for down there. I actually might hold off on that since we have all this uh, sludgy rust stuff and I kind of need to clean that. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about it later. Okay, no O-rings, just crush type connectors. And I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to get that thing screwed in. We may need to do it through the wheel well. Yeah, that's probably best. All right, sneaking back into the wheel well here. If I recall, we did the, the big nut first, which was the older line. There it is. So let's get that one started, and then we can do the smaller nut. Now, I'm not gonna be connecting the pitman arm or the steering linkage just yet, because I need all that clearance uh, for later due to uh, the oil pan uh, still being uh, on the floor. I'll need that space to sneak the pan up into position. This is gonna be kind of slow going here. Live my life a quarter turn at a time. can't just spin this in there's a lot of friction between the nut and the line right here because there's probably some rust and dirt and stuff in there so I have to I can't just spin it in by hand unfortunately I wish I could but I can't so I won't and since I won't then well I don't know I won't rambling blah blah blahs continue must be getting late I'm getting tired Coffee's worn off. My brain is not in control of what the mouth says. It's a side effect. I don't know what that's a side effect of. It's just a, must be a side effect. Whew, fatigue of flanges. Ah, we're getting there. Almost to click. A little bit more. Ah, tight. Okay, that's one. The next one. I'm gonna go down right here. Hey guys, it's not lining up. I need to maneuver some things here.
give like the whole truck the reach around here. I can't get all this lined up properly. Yeah, see how I can get this one to kind of turn? The other one would not do that because it wasn't spinning freely. Ah, oh, here we go. Sorry, I know I'm a big flange user in the way and you guys couldn't see. My apologies. No, seriously, I mean that. I think I feel bad. You guys were watching this far, this long, and then I, I just locked the camera with my, my mitts. My meat hooks. <laughs> like, did, did you just call them your meat hooks? Yeah, I told you guys it was getting late. Yeah. There we go, package. That one's in. Okay, let's get out of here and fetch that sensor from the old line, and then uh, we'll get it screwed in to the new line. Okay, we're over here at the old drain. Here's the old line, here's our pressure sensing unit. This is either gonna come off easily, or we're going over to the vise. I don't know yet. Let's see. 15 millimeter. It's not easy so far. Tool switch. Let's try 15. Yep. Let's put a wrench on it. Squeeze them together. And loose. Come out. My question is, is does this have tape or an O-ring as a seal? I say O-ring because I can see it. Yeah, right there. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's filthy too. Everything's filthy. This whole truck's filthy. It needs shiny. It's not really filthy. It's a it's a well kept truck, but the leaks have done this to it. And the leaks are there because it's a little bit older. But we're gonna undo this, regardless of how nasty it is. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> All right, a little bit more torquage here. And uh, this thing's good to go. All right, that's on. Steering system repair is complete. That should uh, about handle the, uh, the power steering leaks. That one, the hose, the hose, and that little banjo fitting right there. So I think we're good to go on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I'm gonna close it up, it's getting late. As always like thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed this video again this is video number three on this particular nissan uh, if you wish to see videos one and two just check this video's description and there will be links at the very top and that will conclude my moment of shameless self-promotion so again and as always thank you for watching and most importantly do not forget to have yourselves a great day see you guys later end of transmission